Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Pittsburgh Steelers. All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Pencil. Well, I was thinking the like the two by two inch ones that you can buy yeah, and use yeah. a, in those addition are, to the pencil. And those last for a long time. No doubt. Now it's Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Striking for his well on it. Just move on to the next play. Roethlisberger will throw. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. James Washington from 21 yards away. And the Steelers are able to strike for six. They partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Calvin Ridley, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. So they get the score still down. The bottom line is they kept themselves in the game. They did keep hope alive, Brandon. That's exactly what they did. Now they've got to deliver and finish things off. Oh, it's incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Back and then make sure you blanket the field. The Falcons on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and 10. They'll look to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Morgan Burnett. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. And that one? Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. for the Steelers as they come up first and 10. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. The Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl, and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the Steel City. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports
you met Lord Stanley. Well, you scores! Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. this game for decades who comes to mind when you're, you're looking at all the guys jumping out on the ice celebrator right now who do you think of in these moments well for me it was Bobby Orr and his famous picture going flying through the air against the St. Louis Blues that's the one that always comes to mind the most iconic photo I believe in the Stanley Cup finals in the history of the game and of course it's the Stanley Cup He's coming to collect the Stanley Cup. I can't even imagine how hard his heart is beating right now. It, it must be an amazing feeling. Every time I see them hoist the cup year after year, I feel a little pang of jealousy that I never got to do it. Look at this. What a great celebration. And as they start to pass the championship around, I'm always curious as the pecking order, and when is that determined? Well, I think it's on seniority. I don't really know how it's determined. I never got to this far, so nobody asked me. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He'll be the first to bat here in the inning with his guys in need of some ninth-inning magic if they're going to force a game five. first pitch as he'll lift it up in the air this is back behind second Frazier is there one away the battle the the field, Aaron now to the plate here is Aaron Hicks three at bats for him in this one ball ending with him going down on strikes bouncer to the left side and there's his first base hit in this one Sharp ground ball to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Last chance for the Yankees. Struck him out, and it's over. They are World Series champions. Well, they just clinched the World Series title in front of the home crowd. And no doubt about it, this town is going to be rocking and rolling tonight. Just like this stadium is rocking right now as they celebrate something they'll remember forever. They are the World Series champions. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this 
series clinching victory. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs. Mark DeRosa and Blizak and our entire Fall Classic crew. I'm Matt Baskerjian. You've been watching the World Series. Now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Score all the way from first. All right, here we go. RBI base hit to cut the lead in half. Get the crowd going. You can feel the energy rising. Maybe that leads to an offensive explosion. We'll see. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And he's going to motion for the bullpen as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner in second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Hector Neris comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Standing in now, Colin Moran. And he puts it on the ground to second. Segura fields it cleanly, and a good throw gets him one gun. So now it's Brian Reynolds. His career numbers against Hector Neris. He's one for two. From the belt, the pitch. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Boom. Has room in foul territory. But this will land untouched. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ready. Catch is made. Here comes the tying run from third. And the score from third, the tying run. Boy, this would look like he was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And he has delivered on three and two as he comes up big. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. Roman Quinn will stay. So stepping in is Jacob Stallings. The base knock to the outfield to score the tie run from second. And the game just fouled. Adam Frazier. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Going back is the right fielder. Still going back. Ball game! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. get the extra innings you're looking to piece together a rally or scratch any runs you can across the plate but he says hey to heck with that I'm gonna do it with one swing of the bat so a walk-off home run ends this thing in extras that was fun Five 
to three the final score in this afternoon's game. Chris Stratton pitches well enough to get the W. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRozan and 